better in the gym. The sun is shining. I just worked out. I feel so good. Um, today I had to do one last metric before I get into this contest prep cycle that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. And uh, as I go on in the cycle, I'll do some updates. Um, for those of you who are interested, I've had a few people ask. So uh, just quickly, today I had to do a one rep max on my wide grip bench. Um, I was kind of told previously by a trainer that I really shouldn't do wide grip bench. And uh, for me, in my left shoulder, I'm missing some connective tissue in the rotator cuff from uh, landing on this elbow uh, in a bike rack. And I, I broke the elbow and just tore up some, some business in the shoulder. So I've always been a little bit um, scared to do it because it's pretty unstable. However, today uh, I did a one rep max of 195 and it wasn't really a problem. I've never done this lift before, so I don't know that my form was perfect or great. But to put that in perspective, um, when I had been lifting for multiple years as a vegan, I was always trying to get over 200 on a conventional bench, which is much easier than a wide grip. And I never got over 195 unassisted by a um, gym mate. So I think that that's a, an amazing testament to me how a diet can make such a difference, as I um, said. But I wanna talk about just like my goals, where I'm at, and where I'm heading with this. So I will be competing at 148 Raw Master. So that's um, the first master class, and I have only one year in this master class, and then I jump up to the older one. Uh, I am doing raw because I like kind of the purity of it um, and just wearing a belt and maybe some knee sleeves and just calling it good. Um, I'm also not very experienced. So I think for a non-experienced power lifter that raw is probably better anyhow. Uh, so my goals are to get into the platform, gain some experience, learn from others that have been doing it for a long time, and to meet other people to create community with that are doing something positive in their lives. Um, this is something that I've always enjoyed about competitive athletics and why I always participate in competitive athletics well, my whole life, uh, maybe with the exception of a couple years after high school, but I love the community of people who come together in um, competition. And I like competition. I think humans are biologically driven by competition. And I feel that in me all the time. I I'm, I'm consider myself a competitive person. And it's, for some reason, that's kind of looked down upon in today's society. But I think it's what competition is what has taken us to where we're at. So I love competition. Um, my next goal will be, you know, after gaining some experience, um, I'd like to get up to uh, set the state record for Washington State uh, in my weight and age. And then uh, an, an ultimate goal would be, you know, somewhere down in a couple of years, be at elite, elite level lifts, elite totals. So that's kind of the progression. I always have... Um, a progression of goals so that you I'm never not matching goals uh, I start out with simple goals like sign up for a competition uh, prepare for competition successfully go to the competition and you know match my lifts um, you know and then you just keep going up to hit your ultimate goal and that's a really great way to be successful um, I will talk about goal setting maybe in another time all right, where am I at? Uh, currently, my uh, top bench is 210, my top squat is 270, my top dead is 320, but maybe higher. I ran out of weights and had to order some, but we'll call it 320 for today. Uh, my strict standing press is 125, my wide grip is 195, and my strict barbell curl is 115. Um, that puts me at just under 
a uh, class two power lifter for uh, SBD, and it puts me over uh, into a class one for strict press, and uh, puts me at master level for a strict barbell curl, which is interesting because I never really work my biceps much, but I do a lot of pull ups, and. Uh, I will be working towards my first meet trying to get into class one lifts. So I have 13 weeks out, which means I have 12 weeks of lifting left to go before my competition, which is a pretty nice amount of time. So I have one meet in June and then I will take a deload and then I have another meet in August. So I'll go into a mini cycle. I'm working with this, um, program called the fifth set uh, so the program that I'm using it's called fifth set um, it was recommended to me by a friend and fellow lifter who has a wealth of experience under the bar holds a national and state records and I tend to err on the side of experience and uh, so I picked this up. You can get it on the internet. You can download it. It's like 29 bucks. I'm looking at it. It looks really great. Uh, what I like about it is that it uh, has different templates to meet different needs. So you can read through it, read his advice, and you can pick out how it's going to work for you. If you're a person who's coming from restrictive dieting, muscle atrophy, or nutritional depletion from um, like a plant-based diet. There's some um, mixing up hypertrophy in there to get some, some muscle mass back. And then there's uh, slow recovery templates, which is something I would recommend, especially if you were fat depleted, your central nervous system might not handle uh, the level of lifting that's in here for pure strength. Um, until you kind of recover those systems. For me, I have 13 weeks until my competition and I'm doing um, kind of a hybrid of uh, pure strength. And I'll explain this a little bit. It might not make sense if you're not using the program, so I'll try to keep it simple. But basically, he goes into what he calls mesocycles, which are kind of like training block cycles. But each mesocycle has a micro uh, or a number of microcycles. And the microcycles are nine days long with four lifting days. So it's not weeks. It's a little different like that. And for me, it took me a little time to get my calendar plotted out with my workouts. But I think once you get over that, it's, it's very simple. And how it staggers things actually probably works really well um, with the body. Okay, so your, how it works is you have four workouts in one microcycle, which is nine days long. And you, you work out in the same days every week. So mine will be uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, and my first, your first workout is, is conventional bench. And then uh, you do some you know, auxiliary exercises, assist exercises. You do one that is mechanically similar, and then you do a uh, complementary one. So an example is floor presses, or standing or seated overhead press, and then you do some uh, side raises or rear raises. So that's one day. And then your next workout is squat, and uh, you do some barbell rolls, uh, heavy barbell shrugs, and then barbell calf raises. Your third workout is your second bench, which is a wide grip bench, which is why I was doing my wide grip max. And uh, you do wide grip bench, uh, tricep extensions. And for me, since I have a home gym, I, I put in a little bit of kettlebell work because I don't have the cable machines that they uh, recommend. And then uh, band pull-aparts. And then your fourth day is deadlift. And then your uh, mechanically similar is rack pulls below the knee. And then kettlebell swings to get that core 
and hips and then chins for your back and or hammer curls. So, so that's the extent of it. It's, um, it's pretty straightforward and seemingly simple. Um, what you do is you do uh, four rounds of two reps and your first micro cycle that's at 77.5% and then it's at 80% after that. And then your fifth set is an all out max rep set. So that's why it's called the fifth set. So you do four sets of two and this is of course after you warm up. And then your last set which is the real killer you do as many reps as possible. So that's, that's the rundown of it. Uh, those are my goals. This is where we're at for meat prep. I'm super stoked and uh, I'll vlog more on this later. Let me know if you have questions, hit thumbs up. Uh, if you are another recovering a restricted dieter or a vegan and you have experiences or questions about physiological recovering, go ahead and share those down below. Peace.